Morgan Award for open government reporting. Uh, Lucy, as you know, wrote countless stories using public records. This award will honor a Florida journalist who smartly uses public records to report stories exposing corruption, revealing government conflicts of interest, or otherwise serving the public interest. The first award winners will be announced at our annual Sunshine Litigation. <laughs> the First Amendment Foundation is in the U.S. Supreme Court for the first time ever. So I got litigation on the mic. Our annual Sunshine Legislative Luncheon in January will be putting out a press release tomorrow and opening the award for nominations. Um, before I introduce our first speaker, I'd like to first honor and mention all those people here tonight uh, and those who couldn't come who have helped us with this event. Our sponsors include the Florida Education Association. <laughs> Services of Troy Kinsey Gubernatorial Impersonations LLC. <laughs> Business has been brisk, although I think my time in the sun is about to come to an end. Uh, because John Morgan might very well become the next governor of Florida. I don't really have the, the presence of body I think for Dr. John Morgan. But wouldn't it be great if John Morgan picked Lucy to be his wife? here uh, from two governors, uh, one of whom gave me a very difficult time generally in press gaggles, and the other who I, I think of like a brother, 
and, and you can probably infer who those governors are. <laughs> so let me start with the first letter from Governor Jeb Bush. And this is uh, to Lucy, uh, dated today. Lucy, I write to send along my congratulations and best wishes as First Amendment Foundation honors uh, your story, career, and journalism, and introduces the Lucy Morgan Award for Open Government Reporting. It's fitting the First Amendment Foundation uh, named this award after you, one of the great journalists in modern Florida history, because you have struck fear in the hearts of many leaders <laughs> as you pursued story after story in Tallahassee, aided and abetted by Florida's broad, maybe too broad, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> To your credit, you instilled in me and many of my peers a healthy sense of anxiety each morning as we open the pages for so many times, wondering what news story would monopolize our day. You held us accountable for our decisions and for our service. One of the great joys of my tenure as governor was sparring with you and your colleagues, mostly because you guys were all wrong, but not as often as your editorial work was. <laughs> He goes on to write, in all seriousness, uh, there are few journalists I respect as much as you, Lucy. You always conducted yourself professionally with class. You were tough but fair, and I never doubted that your loyalty was to voters, to the pursuit of a transparent and accountable government, and to the truth. So congratulations again on this fitting tribute to your Pulitzer Prize winning career, and enjoy the celebration, your friend, Jeb Bush. <laughs> Congressman Charlie Chris from the 13th District uh, in Florida. If he were here, he would say, we have the greatest lieutenant governor in Florida history in the bank. Jeff, I love you like a fine wine, bro. <laughs> you know, frankly, we almost lost Jeff a couple of years ago, but God had bigger plans for Jeff Compton. Remember those days? I love him like a fine wine. So here we go, uh, November 14th. Uh, Dear Lucy, I guess I'll read it in my Charlie Chris voice, is that okay? Dear Lucy, as you well know, sunlight is the best disinfectant. For democracy to flourish, it's a necessity. Those who dedicate their lives and talents to the field of journalism are curtain raisers, bringing light to the darker corners of our society in protection of the public interest. It's an honor to be part of this recognition of your career. You've always been a true shining light in the Florida press. As a Pulitzer Prize winner who spent decades fighting for the people, to the boss. <laughs> they signed my check. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I was inspired in my public service by your efforts to root out corruption. I'm proud to call you a friend. You've been a role model to so many. I can't think of a more fitting tribute than creating this award in your honor. May it inspire future generations of investigative journalists to keep, to keep shining a light in, search, in the search for truth and for justice. And he writes here at the bottom. Wish I could be there with you. Guess where he is now? Raising money for my political career. <laughs> Sorry, Lucy. Someone's got to win out. So, Lucy, congratulations, and uh, it was an honor to be here. Thank you. Yeah. 